Today on Newsbreak, we will have our second day of Student Guest Star Week. We will also take a look at highlights from the basketball game last night. All of this and more on Wednesday, December 14, 2016. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Nate Cuomo. And I'm Nancy Lamaris. Let's take a look at the announcements today. Key Club is sponsoring a dance this Saturday, December 17th from 9 p.m. to midnight in the Shoe Heart Circle. Admission is 2 to 3 canned goods or $5, and DJ, DJ Dylan Reynolds will provide the music. The Bochy Mammoth hockey team is still in need of a student manager to fill the hockey the Mammoth Hockey Games. Please see Jane Lovell in the high school office if interested. Attention music students, the cookie dough will be arriving today. Please come to the parking lot by the area in the Sammy Ramp at the high school after school at 3 o'clock to pick up your cookie dough orders. If you are unable to come at this time, it is your responsibility to make arrangements for someone to pick up your orders for you. This is the final week of the Key Club's Warm Hearts, Warm Hands Winter Clothing Drive. Please drop off coats, gloves, boots, and other winter gear in the office. Happy birthday to Trent Dennis, Katherine Gulick, and J.P. Walls. Now let's take a look at the weather for this week. Alright, so looking ahead to the weather for us this week, today we will see a high of 8 degrees, mostly sunny skies, um, so very cold, feeling even colder with the 15 to 20 mile an hour wind out of the northwest this afternoon. So wind chill will reach uh, as low as negative 20 degrees, with a low of 9 tonight, still a little bit breezy, so it'll be very cold out there. Um, tomorrow we'll see a high of 10, so about the same temperature, but less windy, so it'll uh, feel a lot nicer. Just uh, 5 to 10 mile hour, miles an hour out of the west, changing to southeast by the afternoon with a low of 8. And in the afternoon tomorrow, we could also see a 40% chance of scattered snow showers. And Thursday night, we could see a 60% chance of snow accumulating less than an inch. And on Friday, there were, um, just yesterday, there was a winter storm named. Uh, it was Winter Storm Decima. And that will move into our area um, in more around noon into the afternoon on Friday. Uh, it's a high of 17 and a low of 2 winds, 15 to 20 miles an hour, so that could be an issue with blowing snow accumulating uh, up to about 3 inches during the day and 3 inches Friday night, so that could total up to about 6 inches. So right now, uh, Winter Storm Decima is sitting in the northeast, or the northwest um, in, in Idaho, Washington, and uh, the west side of Wyoming. And by th Friday, we will see it move in more uh, to, the, toward, to the east, and you can see that we are in the darker blue, so that is the heavier snow, uh, but not necessarily the hardest, and we're, uh, there's also a lot of ice and winter mix mixed in with the storm system more to the south of us. And, but we can also see by Saturday it will move out of our area and push uh, into the northeast, and it'll be uh, out of our area by then. So there's a look at your weather for us this week, back to you guys. Taking a look at sports for today, last night the boys and girls basketball teams competed in Esterville. For the girls varsity squad, it was a close game the entire way. The first half was a slow start for both teams, entering halftime with a score of 17-18. Towards the end of the fourth, a series of timeouts were taken by both teams as it came down to the final possession. Esterville squeezed out the wins over the Indians 43-40. On the boys' side, the Indians looked to have control the entire game. The boys built their lead to 17 points at halftime with the score of 37-20. to 20. The boys continued their hot shooting on the second half as Owen Coburn finished the night with 24 points and 12 rebounds, and Alex Van Dyke added 16 points of his own. The Indians took care of the mid at 69-46. That is the Here's Sports for today. Back to you guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today at SLHS. Have a good day, and thanks for watching this break.